This is an impromptu video. I suddenly found myself home alone for two hours on a Sunday morning, which is highly unusual. So I decided to do something I've been meaning to do for quite some time, and that is make a video on how to make your own scented soy wax candles I saw this done lots of times on various videos and online blog tutorials so I wanted to try it for a long time and I was surprised to see how easy it is to make your own because they can be quite expensive, can't they, in the shops? And the benefit of making your own is that you can combine your own essential oils and make your favourite scent. So this is everything that you need and I'll show it all to you now. Here I have a bag of soy wax flakes. a large bag so it will last a long time. This can be bought fairly cheaply online um, but for my next bag I will have a look at finding more sustainably sourced soy flakes because since I bought this bag I've been reading a little bit more about how these flakes come about and it's quite interesting. So I'll do some research for the next one. I'm not sure where these are from to be honest or where they were made. But soy wax for sure is definitely better for your health than synthetic wax. Or you can use beeswax as well. So they come in these flakes here. It looks a lot like white chocolate. you have your bag of soy wax. You need some wicks and I bought a small packet. These are 100 millimeter long but you can buy all different lengths of them. And they look like this as you know. 
So the containers I chose to use, and you can use anything you wish, of course, lots of people even use um, teacups, which is really nice. Uh, but I've had these for a while and thought they would look really nice as candles. I've had these for a few years. I got them from the pound shop or the dollar store, as you would say, some would say. They're really nice. They're very heavy. And your wick needs to be, of course, just long enough, or ideally too long would be better. But I can just about get away with using this in there. And you will also need, of course, some essential oils. I have a few here. This is my essential oil box. I keep in the kitchen. I have lots of them. Um, there are so many I don't have. So I add to my collection every now and again. And I do have a book by Valerie Werwood, I think. Um, with lots of different remedies and combinations of oils, different blends to use for all different types of things. I made a video on it some time ago. And um, every time I find something in there that I'd like to make, I'm missing one or two <laughs> oils. So um, I will be adding to them as time goes on. But for today's um, video and for these candles, I'm going to use some lavender and I've gone for some bergamot and frankincense, clary sage, lang ylang, sandalwood and some orange. I might not use all of them but let's see how we get on. You need quite a lot of oils a lot of drops to go in each candle and um, I do have two lavenders that aren't so great quality I have a really good quality one in here which I won't use um, I will use these two up first and not everybody likes lavender I know but it's one of my favourites It's um, some people have an adverse reaction to it. It's quite common. So there we go, those are the oils and we also need chopsticks and the chopsticks are to keep your wick in place on the um, container there. I did read on a website that uh, somebody used glue dots to keep their wick in place but um, I tried it and for me it just didn't work. So the chopstick method um, I think is the best. And you need a pan, which is here. Lots of people use glass to melt their mat. Their to melt their wax um, but I tried it in my pan and it worked just fine and I was able to clean it and everything afterwards. Okay, first we need to melt our wax and this means that we need to measure it out and pop it in the pan. So whichever container you're using if you use twice as much wax per container, you should have just about the right amount. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Oh, 
one. That's four. Five. Six. And for good measure, I'm going to add And that's our wax all measured out and ready to melt. So let's pop that on the stove and melt it down till it's a lovely liquid. Okay. is reduced to this lovely smooth liquid. Of course it's very hot so we must be careful. I shall pop it over here. The surface is very warm. Now we must get on with popping, popping our wicks in the container. So if these were super long, then this would be a little bit easier. But then of course we would have more waste. So if you can get them just about right, then that would be better. Now we need to place the wick, like so, in the container. To have it stand up and... You need to wrap it over the top of your little chopstick. I've used very thin ones. So if I bend it over the top there, and it's covered in wax, so it should stay bent. And just hold it in there. Like so. And repeat the same with the others.
it. So the candle set fairly quickly and you will have an opportunity to move them around later on although it isn't ideal but if there is a mistake you can always fix it. So now we need to pour the wax into the containers. Very carefully. Going to hold the wick See if I can do it closer to you so you can see what's happening. Just be very, very careful because, as I said, it's hot. Okay? Just adjust this a little bit and again last time okay lovely and I have a tiny bit left so I'll top up the others. So adding that little extra was worth it. It usually is. There. So if you've used a pan, then you would want to wipe that down as soon as you can. And there we have the wax in the containers with the wicks held nicely in place. There. It's important to get it as central as you possibly can because then your candle will burn evenly. Okay. Finally, we add our essential oils. So you just go ahead and add whichever oils you prefer. If you have a favourite blend, then just go for it. You do need quite a lot because they um, don't smell of much at all if you only add a few drops. You need a lot. So this is my lavender. And I'm quite happy to use it in the candles to kind of um, use it up. It's, it isn't really one I use very often, it's a bit of a lower quality. It came free with something. So I'm just going to pour away. Now, I'm not aware of the exact drops I need, I just kind of go with how I feel, okay? You may want to look it up and see if there's a specific amount per amount of wax. I'm just pouring. Plenty in. The majority of my scent is going to be lavender, as you can tell. 
and the others I'm going to add less just for a hint okay this is the bergamot just go for about five or six drops in each that was about 20 And already it's smelling really nice. Um, a little bit of frankincense. And these are all, all quite relaxing oils. And you may notice that I'm popping the oil on either side of the stick there just to blend it evenly, if possible. Oh, clary sage, I'm going to try that. What I'm going to do now is not add the next oils to all of them so I can smell how different they may be. Clary sage in this one. I love the sound of essential oil dropping out of the bottle, those little bubbles. And um, clary sage is lovely. That just went in those two. I'm going to pop some orange in this one here. So people who are essential oil experts may be just cringing at this because they may know the perfect blends for this type of thing. Um, but as I said, I did find a few in my book and online, but I didn't have all of the exact oils for it. So I'm just going ahead using my intuition. And um, I did open them before and kind of smelt them all together and it was really nice. This and jasmine are just amazing. I'm going to pop them in at the side here. And sandalwood in the middle. I love sandalwood. It's just so earthy and warm. There. So those are the oils dropped in nicely and they just distribute themselves pretty evenly because it's a thick fluid so they'll fall down gradually and then we just leave them and wait for them to set and once we've done that we can take out our um, chopsticks straighten out the wick and if needs be just give it a little snip at the top there And here they are, all nicely set and ready to burn. I shall enjoy one of those later on today. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you've got any tips on nice blends that you like, then let me know, share those with me and with everyone else. That would be lovely. Sleep well, rest well, and I'll see you very soon. Okay, good night.